Starting today is uh, something called the Black History Month or something like that. Black History Month. I have with me Mark Tom Thompson. He's back, also known as Reverend Maximella Mapfumo. I that's pretty good. That's, that's, you pronounced that very well, Jesse. <laughs> He's the host of the morning show, Make It Plain, on Sirius SM Progressive Talk Radio. And yes, I sir. wanted to talk to Mark about uh, the president, black history, uh, men and women, what's going on in the world today. So, Mark, welcome back, sir. Thank you, Jesse. Pleasure to, uh, to be here. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. God bless you, and happy Black History Month. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Whatever that is. It's, it's our history. It's, it's our pride. It's something to be proud of. We, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for Black History Month and the progress of other black people and our ancestors upon whose shoulders you and I both stand, Jesse. Amazing. We're going to get to that. But first, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wild, God. man, you wild. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> so, Mark, I read I read that you are a Christian, a liberal uh, slash progressive, a nationalist and a pan-African Africanist. Is that true? And how is that possible if it's true? How is it possible for me to be all of those things? Yes. Is it true, first of all? Yeah. And how yes. is that possible to be a Christian and be all those other things? I can see you being those other things, but not a Christian and those things. You can see me being... Uh, a, you a you liberal, can't see me. You, uh -huh. A liberal, a progressive, a nationalist, and a pan-Africanist. Well, I, Jesus, Jesus was black. <laughs> he was a revolutionary. He was a political activist. And if he were alive today, he'd be a, a, a liberal and a Democrat and a, and a progressive. He he provided universal health care. He healed the sick. He uh, gave to the poor. OK, all of the thing, all of those things that liberals, progressives and Democrats do. Uh, uh, Jesus would have done. And he was he was black. He was an African Hebrew. His family fled to Egypt to hide him from Herod, the king who was killing all of the male children, the firstborn male children in search of Jesus, killing all of the male children like many of the police do, African-American uh, young men today. Well, that's, what Herod, thing, that's what Herod yeah, was doing. The one thing and I do want to say. You can't hide in Egypt. Egypt was black. You can't hide in Egypt, Jesse, and be white. The one thing I do want to say, if Jesus was black, which he was not, but if he was, he would be all those things you just said because he would have fallen for the lie that um, uh, was organized and created by <laughs> by the so-called civil rights leaders and the Democratic government, uh, the Democrats. So, but you are a Christian and a pastor, right? I'm not a pastor. No, I don't pastor a church. I'm just a minister. I'm an ordained minister. I'm okay. not a pastor of a church. No. Um, Jesus was a Jew, by the way. He wasn't black. But let me just say. Um, Wait, the, the, the original Jews were black. Uh -huh. He was an African Hebrew. So let me ask. if that's... Christianity, Christianity and Judaism, the great religions, began in Africa. But let me ask. If that is true, if, a bit, if, if that is true that Jesus was black, why did most, not all, not all, not all, not all, but why is it that most black Americans have fallen away from God? How do you fall away from God? Uh, uh, most most African most African Americans are in church every Sunday. That don't, it doesn't uh, mean a thing, though. Many many well, it, 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 but most African Americans have not fallen away from God. I, I don't know what I don't know how you can even say something like that when you have evangelicals. Uh, running around supporting sexual predators like Donald Trump and Roy Moore. It seems like white evangelicals what does that who, have support, to do with black who people? support sexual predators are the ones that have fallen away what from God. What does that have to do with black people? African -American, falling away from God African -American and Jesus Christians, being black. African-American Christians stopped the sexual predator Roy Moore in Alabama. Let Not me ask, white Christians, black Christians. Let me ask you, deviating from my question. If it's I'm true, just showing we haven't fallen away. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm, give me an example of how we've fallen away. Um, according to the Washington Journal Examiner, Washington Examiner, uh, uh -huh. black women who were born in America, um, 77 percent of the children are born out of wedlock. Well, that's an old. You all been saying that for the past 40 years. Y'all have to update. That percentage, I don't even think. No, that's, that's true. a higher percentage. It, 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 I thought well, it was well, going down, well, but it was well, it, it's gone up. 
And the other well, thing, how many, I, how I many white another. children? How many white children? Why born are you asking about white people? We're talking about black folks. Be, because be, because we're all human beings. We're all the same. So you can't single out black people as having some in, inherent pathology when when others have some of the same issues. The, the family structures change. People. Don't get married anymore to have children, Jesse. But blacks are leading the, the way in having these babies out of white lot. And you said Jesus was black. But let me ask, um, um, if black people are children of God oh, and Jesus was black and Christianity started in Africa, why did Christianity flee Africa? What do you mean? There, it fl- fl- Christianity is not in Africa. I mean, is there now it because is. is there now because white Americans and along with some other black people took it back? A- but Africa. if first Jesus all, all, was Africa black, is, why didn't okay. Christianity stay in Africa? Right, well, why is it me, not let predominant me, let, let me, um, in Africa? Let, let me ask you a question. First of all, Africa is a continent. It is vast, not a country. Donald Trump thinks it's a country, uh, and many people think it's a country. It is vast. So um, many religions and forms of spirituality, modes of spirituality originate in Africa, one of which was Christianity. When the Europeans discovered Africa, the Greeks in particular, they came to Africa. No, they because of time, Christi- they, because they, of they time. Found, they, Tell me they, why, let me finish the show. I'm why finished, I'm is getting, not, it's short I'm, because we don't I'm have doing, a lot of time. Okay, why okay, look, I'll, I'll be that, quick, I'll be quick, I'll be quick, I'll be quick. The, the, the monotheism and form of Christianity that was birthed in Africa was stolen by the Europeans <laughs> and repackaged and then used to come back to Africa amazing. and oppress us. Amazing. I am amazing. You know, know. As, long as, <laughs> as long as most black Americans protect their weakness by blaming other people and accusing other people, you're not going to get anywhere. you got to take responsibility. But let me ask, this is uh, Black History Month. Um, should we teach... Black History Month or American History? Black History is American History. Should we teach Black History Month or American History? Black History is American History. And what do you mean by that? That means that we have to include in American history the contributions of African Americans to that history. And all we do is set aside one month for people to give special attention to African American history. Amazing. Every other month is white history. We talk about white folks' history all the time. We're going to talk about black history What's this month. What's white history? What is white history? Everything that isn't black. Like what, for example? Uh, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, like as if they were the only ones that contributed to building this country. You're right in that black history is American history, but why call it black history and why set aside one month? Why not just incorporate the um, um, events or whatever blacks did to make this co- help make this country great and just let it be a part of the American history. Why call it black history and separate yourself from the rest of the folks? Well, it's a both and not an either or. It should be a year round observance and it should be incorporated. However, but we should observe uh, it. it. We should just teach it in schools. Well, we have to we have to observe it, Jesse, because because that's a part of the history. Dr. Carter G. Woodson developed Negro History Week uh, in the early 1900s. It expanded into Black History Month and it was necessary because we weren't incorporated. But when are you when were you? And and we still are to a large extent. There's no desire for us to be incorporated um, in, in, in many of the. A curricula around the country. There's still a big fight about that. I mean, you, you, it's got it. We have to not only be incorporated, but we need to honor the memory of Dr. Carter G. Woodson, who picked this month to coincide with Frederick Douglass's birthday, honor the memory of Frederick Douglass's birthday. Let me ask you, you and I would not be free without them and honor this month and keep it alive. Who is excluding the blacks from American history? Most textbooks do. Who, who are they? Who is doing this though? The, the publishers, those who write the curricula in our public schools and in our institutions. Are of you just learning. saying it, that? It was, Where's it your wasn't. proof? You're just saying that. Where's your proof well, that well, in 2018, uh, Americans, proof. real Americans are trying to 
or deliberately trying to exclude black Americans who contribute to making this country great from Most, uh, black history. Where is your proof of that? M much of the curricula focuses on one speech by one man, the great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., I Have a Dream speech, but it does not go into depth in terms of the contributions of black history to the building of America. How many of your listeners know the name of the first person to give their life in the Revolutionary War? That's because it's not being Do you? included. No, I don't. It's because See, that's what I'm saying. So that, that's that's me. That's why but, you need Black History Month. It was Crispus Attucks, but let the me, first man to fall in the Revolutionary know, War the was point, a black man, my, Crispus Attucks. My point is not that. My point is rather than you people fighting for separation by calling things now, that's not, by that's calling not things black. I just and, included you. I just brought you in to me. I included you. Uh, hold Crispus on. Let me Attucks. make this point. Now you know rather something. than rather than uh, rather than uh, uh, calling it Black History and and all that, or fighting for the black stuff, why not just fight to make sure that uh, the history of black America who contribute to this country in a good way is just added in the books. You're fighting for Black History both. Month. Both You're and. fighting for black history. We're we, we, we going to do both. We do both. We I, learned, do both. I learned about George Washington Carver, uh, Booker T. Washington, and others when I was in school. It was naturally taught. And uh, I also learned about that uh, sellout communist, W.D. Du Bois, uh, W.E.B. Du Bois, who uh, was a far-left liberal socialist who wanted to do all the thinking along with the so-called talent tent or whatever they call themselves. They wanted to um, be the thinkers of black folks. And when it didn't work out very well for him, he moved to Africa and denounced his uh, 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 citizenship here in this country, I, and I guess he died over there. I learned that in school. The guy was a hater. And so if no, you— No, he W.B. Du Bois was not a hater. You no, know, he, he had was an evil hater. He, 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 no, he was not an evil hater. He, he, made, he was the first black Ph.D. to graduate from Harvard. He attended that doesn't, University I mean, that doesn't in Nashville, where I grew up. He's not a hater. The, the, no, he was not a hater. As a matter of fact— Like Obama. Dr. Obama is a hater. Dr. Who? Obama, no, the fallen messiah. He was he was not a hater. As a matter of fact, to be honest with you, the full history is prior to him leaving to go to Africa, W.B. Du Bois worked with the United States government and the U.S. Army. He was a wicked man. In, in, but in, I got in, 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 in the in the U.S. He worked with the U.S. Army in particular. Um, I when got it came five minutes with you dealing here, so. with the black community. And that's one of unfor one of his unfortunate contradictions. Let me ask you this, Mark. Are you proud as I am of that home run? Um, State of the Union address that the great white hope President Donald Trump gave the other night. Are you? you I, uh, were I you understand like, you, were, you in were, bad connection. You were breaking up. <laughs> I don't understand what you said. What? Are you the what? Did you, you sound like you said a home run State of the Union address. I don't know. Yes, a slam dunk. You know, you're the only person uh, still Michael talking about Jordan. that. Michael Jordan. You, you're the only person still talking about that right now because most people are now talking about. The memo uh, that Kobe uh, Devin Bryant. Nunes has written to help him obstruct justice. They're talking no, let me about, ask. I'm asking uh, about that because Hicks I'm obstructing trying. Justice. Look, you keep deviating uh, that was not from a home the subject. Run. It was horrible. You deviated from the subject. Uh, were you proud <laughs> of the? Were you proud of the great speech? I think no, it's going to go it's down awful. in history as one of the best. State of the Union address. In no the state of the Union ever, ever goes given. down in history, Jesse. You can't name another State of the Union speech by any other president. Where to start they with him. That's not the nature of State of the Union speeches. Come where, on, man. Where to start with Donald Trump? But were you okay. proud of what he... Uh, no. How no. about his accomplishments in the first year of being in office? Are he hasn't accomplished anything but but give a tax break to his rich friends. Uh, oh, so and Jesse, I hope all this, I hope all this dancing you're doing for him, they hook you up and give you all these people leaving Congress to go get <laughs> one of those golden parachute jobs from that tax bill. Hope they look out for you too, brother Jesse, and get you some money. I'm already, I've already seen a, 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 a more in my paycheck already. No, I'm talking about one of those jobs Trey Gowdy and the rest of them going to get, man. I, I don't Tell want, me you got one of those jobs. I don't want I, one I, of those jobs. Worth it. I don't want one of those jobs. So we, we need to talk offline, brother. You need to get. We got to get hooked up. My employees you do a lot of work for them. Listen, you care a lot of water. My, for them. Because of the great white hope, my employees and I received <laughs> an increase in our paycheck. Past hey, Friday. employees, when you want to go get one of those big uh, tax break jobs <laughs> from one of those big uh, uh, companies on Wall Street, 
I, I bet I, I can see your employees right now. They hear me. Are you happy that the Great White Hope cut regulations and restrictions so that small businesses can start up again and big businesses can come back into the country due to the tax break and all that? Well, that's not exactly what's going on. Of Amazing. course, I support small businesses and I support business coming back into the country. But How about rarely, the, rarely do these tax breaks, tax breaks, breaks trickle down in the way that it's already happening. Totally no, it's not. It's and not how about and in the long run, people are going to have to pay even more money. Uh, this is going to create debt and deficit. The very same. You're debt making and deficit this up. But let me you all attack Barack Obama for and blame him for creating a you bad want to create president the same thing to help out his rich friends. Obama going down in history as the worst, most hated president in this country to ever experienced. But let me ask. Are you happy no, because of the he's great... love? People wish he would come back and be the president. Of course. Jesse, why don't you be black just for this one month? Let... Black History Month, these 28 <laughs> days, the shortest month of the year. Be black for 28 days, Jesse. Come on, man. Come on. It's all right. Let me it's ask gonna Mark. Be okay. Mark, let me ask what, what, are your, what, is, what are your parents one think about you, Jesse? Question. One final question. Uh -huh. yeah. Are you happy because of the great white hope unemployment has gone down? For Black Americans, more Blacks are Unemployment working. Unemployment went down, was going down already. That's more not because black of him. That's because are, of the policies of the first Black president. That's because of the policies of the first Black. Donald Trump had nothing to do. No president comes in the first year and changes the economy. You inherit the economy. You either ride the wave. Well, why or you is it that Obama were not working? And, uh, and all Donald Trump has to do to ride the wave and not mess it up. But he just messed it up. With this tax bill, wait and see. Amazing. We're going to have another recession because of Donald Trump. Watch. Mark, why? How come? Well, I know why. Because most black people are angry. It's so no. easy to tell them a lie and they believe it. No, that's not true. It is. We're it's, not angry. We're loving people. <laughs> well, what's We're happening? God's people. The if people you, of God. If blacks God's are loving people, people, if blacks are loving people, why are the black killing each other in the hoods around the country? Well, because uh, uh, those whom you allow with deliver illegal guns and drugs in our community and no job. <laughs> Mark, thank you so much, man. I enjoyed talking to you. All right, Jesse. Happy Black History Month, Jesse. I wish you well. Know your history. <laughs> thank you, man. Our story, not his story. Our story. Back in a moment, folks. Thank you, Mark.